Hello everyone! Welcome back to Glitz and Glitter. Today is the second video resonating with Renee. <laughs> so it's a different day for you, but not for us. So we just moved over to our other station and we're gonna do, she's going to do, <laughs> we're gonna do four coasters <laughs> for the same uncle, right? Yep, Uncle Steve, same guy. All right, well, I'm gonna let her explain her vision because okay. she's teaching me something today. Oh no, <laughs> that's scary. I've already broke the countertop from the last video you'll see. <laughs> uh, so maybe hopefully not this time okay so we are going to create um four beach coasters this was the request by steve and whether this is the first or second video the other video which is the um clock is a special surprise but for this one he did request beach videos for his little condo place so we decided we're going to do um two coasters with mica powders from it's called um this little piggy if y'all ever ever go out there it's from the fluid art company amazing people and honestly um this is one of the reasons i fell in love with michelle's channel um the same type of people follow the fluid art company and this little piggy they do have a um, youtube and also uh facebook so a little shout out to them nice. super people they you guys would fit right in they're gorgeous colors too. thank you yeah they have really amazing products so and i'm going to share those with you so we're going to do two coasters with mica powders two with some alcohol inks that we picked out but you know just so they're going to be made similar but it's always nice to have a little variance i think so the colors that we picked out this one's called mermaid and i'm going to open it up so y'all can see it when, they, when we stir them, I'm going to show it to you guys because it's just so pretty. They have a little bit of shimmer in there. That'll be the top one. And then this one's called Sea Glass. It's my absolute favorite green. Oops, sorry. <laughs> a little smoky there. And then this one is not um, from Fluid Art Company. This is a different one. It's called Blue Diamond. And it's from Glitz and Glam. Hmm, wonder how that sounds. But see how pretty that, that is. It's gonna gorgeous. be our top wave. I'm in love with and that one. then, da, 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 this is um, from our famous um, host here today, Gold Rush. This is her glitter. And we are gonna incorporate that in with the sand because we gotta have a little bit of sparkle. Yeah, if you come in this house, glitter has to be incorporated. <laughs> That's right. So that'll be these two. And then we're also gonna do. Um, some this one's called the grdz plus metallic alcohol and the color is called metallic blue this is super super shiny I do and sparkly have to say <laughs> she got me an entire set if you didn't see me unboxing it the other day so i haven't used them yet so i'm yeah. so excited to use these and when i did use it i used it on a, a bowl that i'm making for my mother-in-law i mixed it up and it was so shimmery which you guys will get to see today and I was like, I got to text this to Michelle. It's so cool. And then I'm like, I just got to send it to her. And I was telling Michelle, I wish we could just order like the blue because it was my favorite. They're all beautiful, by the way, but that was a pretty color. Okay. And then by Let's Resin, Alcohol Ink Aqua will be our um, second one, I think. And then the third, or now, however this works, the three layers, how do you say that word? Ceril Cerulean? I, I hear someone. What kind what of is that? Two women oh no, <laughs> it's Mr. Glitz. He's back. In the New York <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> Baby, I'm back. <laughs> you had to say it. You really? just had to say it. Oh, We're, sticky. Everything's oh, so sticky. Everything's sticky. I hate sticky. So we're doing beach coasters today. You wanted to one. help? What a beach idea. Isn't that just beachy? It's <laughs> just he, he, I think he feels left out, but I we have a special out. unboxing. Well, I'll yeah. include the unboxing. Very, very video. soon he's going to be included. I'm going to unpackage everything. <laughs> and then put it back together and act like you didn't do it. I already did that. I may or may not have done that as a kid. I, I already know. done that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to it, ladies. All right, back to normal. <laughs> so He was feeling left out. Yeah, he always feels left out. This is the sand you chose. Yeah. And we're going to fill them halfway, mm -hmm. right? We're going to yeah. do two first, and then we'll do the other two. And then she's going to teach me a cool way to do waves that I never thought of with UV resin. Yeah. So I can't wait for that. All right, let's get some resin mixed up and start pouring. Okay. We're all mixed up and all separated, so... 
-hmm. It's all in your, it's all you. It's all me. It's all you. All this is all me. <laughs> all right, guys. So uh, like I said, we're going to do two with the mica powders and we're going to start with our sand. And we do like to mix the sand in with the resin because it does better than when you're trying to mix it in your mold. So I'm going to add a little bit of shell sand in here. I usually like to do a little at a time. Sorry, I'm out of um, focus right. here a little bit. I'll get back over there in a minute. Okay, so let's mix some of this up. And we did pour like a little over an ounce in the other cups and a little bit less than an ounce in the sand one because we didn't need all that for this. And these molds do take about four ounces a piece. And this is our first layer. I guess I could have got you a real spoon. <laughs> That's okay. All right, Michelle, let's see here, huh? What do you think? A little bit more sand? Well, it depends how thick you want it. I mean, because if it's not thick, then you're going to have that layer of clear that kind of separates, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I'll put a little bit more. And we are, I forgot to mention, because uh, we didn't get them out yet, but I'm going to put little turtles. That was a request of Steve. He he said, make them like you did that one time where you had little turtles going into the ocean. So we have, little, we have little turtles that we're going to add. Are you putting the glitter in now or when, like on the second um, coat? I think once we get it in here, I'm going to sprinkle them. Sprinkle it. Yeah, okay. we'll just sprinkle Yeah, it. that's probably a good idea. Yeah. You won't see it on And then I won't have to waste as much glitter. Well, okay. I have a plethora. <laughs> what was I thinking? I have a non What was I ending. thinking? <laughs> Supply. Glitter galore. <laughs> okay. Get it on the side there. I think this might be good. What do you think? Probably. Right. Okay. You can always sprinkle more sand on top. Yeah, Sorry, that's true. Just turn the heat All right. On so I'm going to put some down at the bottom here. And we'll do that. I mean, I'm going to go ahead and add more, but I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit here so I can start spreading out. I think she needs a channel, guys. Oh, I think you should comment and give her some encouragement. Oh, no. Well, I'm so shy, Michelle. She, she's uh, very natural <laughs> on camera for the first time. Oh, my goodness. Let's see here. I'm gonna get every morsel of this goodness. I probably have to, yeah, let me just scrape some up in here. Guys, Don's been sneaking in here, knocking on the window. He's feeling left out. <laughs> so we are gonna um, get ready to incorporate a little something for him. Cause you know, he's part of the show too. Well, he likes to think so, well, but he, he hasn't, he hasn't yeah. like been on for a while. He so. hasn't. So, you know, he's probably, you know, he feeling a little left out. He is working on a shark huttery board though. But a shark takes, huttery board? Yeah. It takes <laughs> a couple of weeks to do one. Yeah. So and that's not that he's not working on something. He's got a little something going on behind the scenes that he'll come out with, but we're going to try to find something for him today too. All right. Okay, you guys. So we're going to probably have to clean up a little bit here. I want my sand. Can I have another little stick, please? Mm -hmm. Get a clean one. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let me do the clean up yucky stuff and then we'll turn back I on. I like the, where are they? Would this help squeegee it into place? Yeah, that's perfect. Oh, I was gonna ask you, how did your little silicone uh, brush thing work the other day um, that your friend sent you. Oh yeah, I used it on the cupcake. Did it work okay? Yeah, it worked fine. It, actually, she commented a good comment. This is what she's talking about here. Yeah. I brushed my UV resin on the cupcake and mm -hmm. she's saying chop off the top. Oh. Which is a great idea because then yeah. it won't be as floppy, I guess. My scientific word of yeah, the day. Yeah, floppy. floppy. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to chop the top of that off and um, be a little more stiff. I'm gonna, I'm pushing this back because I do know, I need it'll flow up there in a minute, which is fine. But I wanna try to get it back here and then have it flow back. 
up there. And then I'm going to take this little guy and try to clean this up a little bit. There we go. Get this cleaned up. Okay. What do you think? That's good because you know what? The clear is making. Yeah, that'll nice, help us. Although yeah. all your mica powder are mm -hmm. probably going to cover it, but okay. I guess we'll find out. All right, so, so let I me go ahead say, and put that in here. I would mix all three so you can yes. pour them quickly. And I'm going to get a clean one. Would you need sticks? Yeah, or I could wipe one off. Nope. Okay, we'll do that. This is so pretty. I am going to show them on camera how pretty this is. I'll lay that there in case I need it again. Um, I'm a, oh, I'm a oh, geek. No. I'm a geek when it comes to this because, I mean, look at that. I know. It's I, gorgeous. I get so excited about the colors. Um, I just, I love stuff like this. And it just, I mean, see, look how little bit it took. I know. Oh, my God. That's a beautiful color. Isn't Gonna need it? the link. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> Gotta have the link. I will be ordering that. Yeah, it's so pretty. I'll give you some of that today, wow, too. That's yeah, nice. make sure you get some. I knew you would like that one. That's why I bought that one, too. Yeah, she came with like a trunk full of stuff today. Like <laughs> <laughs> things everywhere. She's, oh, are we still online? Oh, we're on. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Here. Um, this is the. Which one was this, Michelle? It's called the Blue Diamond. Glitz and Glam. From Glitz and Glam. And look at this. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to ignore you guys. I didn't know. I thought we were off. So look at that. I know the camera is hard to see it, but it's so shimmery. And it took very little. I'll try to show you um, on the next one what it takes. We're going to do, so that's going to be your top, the top of the wave. And this one is, sorry, um, Mermaid. Mermaid. And again, this is by, I call it my little TLPs. Um, this little piggy from the Fluid Art Company. I'm just going to use like that much and put in a little cup here. And then we'll stir it up. We can always add more, but seriously, a I little bit goes a long too, way. Yeah. And I started out, guys, two years ago. I didn't do resin art. I did acrylic arts and I did fluid acrylic arts. And, um, so a little tiny bit of this, um, even in your mixture for your acrylic paints, um, goes a little bit for a long way. See how that, look at this. I didn't it's even so. Know you would put that in acrylic paint. Um, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, you can do your mica powders in your oh, paints as well. If you ever want, I'll show you how to mix it though to make it, um, uh, it's, you use a Josanya varnish to mix it with. There's a couple little things you mix it with for your paints, but I can help you with that. Oh. I don't do that, but if you ever did need like a little multimedia project. <laughs> All right. And this is my, one of my faves of the color. This was called sea glass. And again, I'm just going to take a little bit like about that. Even that's probably too much, but I'm going to take that because I love my color and I always put that to the side in case I need some more. This is our green color that we're using. Uh, what we're trying to do is like an ombre from like the deep blue, like the, how the water's deeper and deeper color out out and about and then the closer it gets to the shore the lighter it is so sea glass is our green color here we go okay okay guys we're back and we're gonna do this we just took a little break to get organized here so I think the better way to do it is to start since we already have our sand down here I'm gonna start at the lightest and work my way up and we can always add more as we go along. We're probably going to have some extras, Michelle. I don't know, just maybe a few little extras. Oh, I've got um, a thousand miles sitting <laughs> right there. So I'm going to pour along my little shoreline here. Pour that in there. And like I said, I'll probably go back and add a little at a time because I like them to blend. With mica powders, you do kind of kind of stay on top of that because they start. Yeah, they don't blend very well. They don't blend, and they'll start. Um, you got to just keep them mixed up. But look, I mean, I just love how they marbleize almost. Though mm -hmm. I love colors. I'm like Michelle in that way. I love blues, but I do love all colors. Oh my gosh, I got to show you this again. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that is a beauty. Um, but blue. Oh, 
I see a little something here. There we go. I think that was either mine or Michelle's. We both got some hair going on in here. Okay. And it's okay if they mix. That's kind of what we want it to do. It's so pretty. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Okay, and then I gotta save some for up there. I almost forgot. And while that's blending, I think I'm gonna go ahead and, and start down up on this other one. Because with the water, you can mix it in. It's okay. I'm excited to see the new wave technique. Yeah, I didn't know you didn't know about that. I did not know. Um, I did it as an accident, though, what she's referring to. I was working on a little project for our little art gallery, and um, I forgot to do the wave. <laughs> and I was getting ready to do the top coat, and I'm like, oh, no. So I'm like, well, I'm just going to try it with UV resin. I mean, you know, what the heck? I can always wipe it off if not, right? And it worked. Wow. So, which we're going to well, do. Well, I guess it... I don't understand why I'm surprised. I just never thought of it. It's a little time saver, it's too. It's great for coasters, though. Yeah, I mean, and that's that's what coasters. I... You know, I used it on that and a little mirror project I was working on is what happened. And it, like I said, it wasn't planned. It was just kind of like, oh, I almost... I forgot to do the... Um, so do you use that technique a lot now? or is, I do. Do you? So I actually do. I use it in pendants, even. So, oh, like, even yeah. on your extras, Michelle, if you're doing, like, you know, some extras and it's kind of beachy mm -hmm. color, you can do a little wave on um, with your UV resin. Yeah, well, I, I'll probably be doing it a lot now. Uh, that's awesome. You'll probably be, you're probably better at that than me on the waves. But well, I don't know about that. I always get nervous on waves. Oh, God, I do, too. It's, it's like a pit in my stomach. Especially when the camera's on. I know. <laughs> Makes it even more so. I just have to pretend all y'all are out there in your underwear. You remember that joke, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad Don didn't hear that. I'm sure he would have <laughs> added something to that. Let's see here. Ooh, it's so pretty. It's going to be the perfect amount. So we've mixed up half of what the coaster holds. Yeah. I'm just going to scrape it and try to add it in here accordingly. And it's okay. There are little drops get in there. We're going to make it blend. Um, the One of the things I use, which I know Michelle does too, and I think one of y'all sent her a little set recently, is those little silicone tools. I use the one a lot called the pencil one. It looks like a little pencil on the end. Yep, I use that to make one. mine too. I use it um, every single time I'm doing resin. Like I use it. Yes, ma'am. That's yep. what I'm going to use to blend here in a sec. And so I got the blue in there, and then I'm going to add. Okay. So, guys, at the end of this video, after we get the other two done, let us know because um, I do make these for gifts and stuff for people too. Let what's your opinion at the end? Let us know if you like the ones done with the mica powders better or with the alcohol inks. Which look? Because it does have a different look. They're both pretty, but they do have a different bit of a look. And just curious as to what you guys like the most. If you were going to buy them, yeah. which one would you buy? You know, I've seen, um, I don't know if y'all have seen it lately, but on some of the, it might even be on your Facebook page, um, they always post amazing art on yours too, is some pink beach art. So it's done in the pinks. Yeah, pretty. It is pretty, yeah. For you pink ladies out there that like your pink. I like pink also. I'm just more of a blue person. But I do like the pinks too. I think they're pretty cool. Okay, guys, we're getting ready to do the blending. I think that's good. We're gonna do some blending now. All right, so we're gonna take their little thing like the pencil and I'm just gonna try to get where all these meet. Get a little paper towel here. Right there. Alrighty. It's like I have the day off. This is awesome. <laughs> oh goodness. That's awesome. You need a you deserve a day off. 
You're not going to use these, are you? No, ma'am. They're ma scraped. They're scraped. Now, I do, not everybody likes this look, but I do try to like swirl mine. And you remember his uh, mica powders. Does it stay though? A little bit for mica I mean, powders. This is, the thicker, this is a four hour cure. Yeah, so that might be. Might, and I have a heat mat going for yeah. time. So it might actually, yeah, stay. But um, I like a little bit. And because mica powders too, they kind of, see how that's kind of blending there at the lines? So that's mm -hmm. kind of cool. Yeah. Um, and then, oh, don't let me forget to add our glitter. We got to add the glitter. Of course. I never forget glitter. Never. Okay, so we're going to... And I have the alcohol if you want to pop bubbles. 100%. Okay, so let's try that. What do you think, Michelle? Is there like anything them. else so far? You're the boss, so you tell I'm me. I'm not the boss on these, not when they're <laughs> you're the boss. for your guy. <laughs> And I'm just going to add a little shimmery shimmer something something down in here. It's okay if it got on there. Adds a little bit to it. The waves will cover some of that up too. Yeah. I added a little bit more than I was going to, but that's okay. We're going to blend it again. I was just going to like do little dots, but it's okay. You can never have too much glue. Oh, Although yeah. Although these are for a guy, so I don't know. He, he doesn't mind. I should have thought about the turtle thing, though. I guess the turtle, they they're pretty flat. So when does the turtle go in now? To um, get under the resin? We can actually put it on. We do the, um, the, wave. the, the wave because they're going to sit on top of the water. And I usually have like a little bit of bigger one and two little tiny ones behind it, like a mama and the babies. Okay. Okay. okay, so we're adding um, some little shells here using the tweezers. And I'm going to add one over here and there. Less is more probably with him, so I'm not going to add a whole lot. I think I'm going to put a little starfish on here. And then, because we're going to be adding the turtles in a bit. This is the top. That's the, flip them over. Like this? But mm -hmm. well, this is going to be the top, right? That's the top. Oh, and okay. And that's the bottom of the starfish. Oh, okay. All righty. So we're going to do, yep. I think I'm going to add him here. All right. Flip this, them over. Oh, this way? Yep. There we go. And then we'll do the turtles like walking out into the water. All righty. Guys, we're going to go ahead and add some more sand because it's, it's, um, the ocean's coming in and, uh, taking over my sand. <laughs> <laughs> High tide. <laughs> High tide's rolling in. Oh, Lord. The tide is. <laughs> Don's not here, so I had to kick in. All right. So we're going to do this. And we'll add a little bit more glitter on top. Move this out of the way a minute. Get him over here. Yeah, the next two, definitely thicker sand. Yeah, we'll do thicker sand because he's definitely piling in. Like you said, we would have come back in here and had no sand, huh? Go ahead and take Mr. Starfish over here, too. Yeah, that's going to look better, don't you think, Michelle? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we'll sprinkle some little glitter in there. It should soak in. Mm-hmm. Yep. Let him drain off a little minute. Also, why don't you guys put in the comments, um, for those that like beach things, what's your va favorite like beach art type? Like, do you like beach tables? Do you like beach coasters? Beach canvases, um, beach clocks. You know how like they get those ones that are like surfboards. Oh, I got a surfboard mold. We could make a surfboard oh, that would be cool. clock or something someday if you want. Mm -hmm. 
and so things like that or charcuterie boards like beachy mm -hmm. so what what is your all's favorite beachy resin art thing good question yeah we'll ask them what they like and then maybe michelle and i if she has me back we can um do some more fun stuff together it doesn't always have to be beach anyway but we like beach we stuff. To, well, a lot of people, we live in Florida, so people yeah. tend to buy this stuff when they live here. They do. Well, even my friends up north, they, they wish they were living in Florida, so <laughs> <laughs> they like the beach stuff, too. Not too much or anything. I'm getting close. Well, save room for the top coat. Yeah, that's what I was getting ready to say. I think that'll sink a little bit, don't you? Should, I think we'll be all right. Yeah, we can help it out, right? All right, I'm going to do what I originally expected to do, which is just a little tiny bit. Just a little something-something since it's a guy. Not that guys don't like sparkles, as my husband calls them. <laughs> oh, there's this yeah. little something there, isn't it? I don't want to ruin the mica powder. We can redo it. There you go. Okay, I think we're almost done. I'm glad we added this because look, it was definitely coming in. That tide was rolling in there. Yeah, it was. Okay, I'm gonna add in my little, my little um, fish and whatnot here. That that definitely fixed it. Yes, I think so too. Oh, <laughs> he wants to come over here. That's where my turtles go, though. So, what are the there. turtles made of? Um, they're some. They're like what you've used in the past. They're like silver metal, and they're flat. Yeah, the little necklace charms where you just cut the little circle off. Mm -hmm. And okay, I would push those down because they're over the You're edge. Right. Okay, guys. Perfect, and that one's. We'll be back. All right, guys, we're back. We had to prop up the uh, these little guys because my beach was disappearing again. I think what I should have done differently is made less resin in my sand and um, just use it to kind of encapsulate it there because it was washing in. But we put the little sticks under here to hold it up for now. So lesson learned on that one, and now we're going to be. Doing the sand. You want me to put the sand in here? Is that okay? Is that the half ounce? Yeah. Yeah. A little less? Yeah. Or, or you can put your sand in there. Yeah, why don't we just it. do that? Normally, that way I'll make sure I don't overdo you don't it. Over. That's why I do that a lot in my stuff is um, I don't get because this. I don't want to over mix my resin with my additives. Okay, we're going to add the sand. Yeah, you can see me first. And we'll clean that little mess up there in a sec. Because I'm messy. It's not messy. <laughs> it's impossible. Sand is kind of messy, to be fair. <laughs> In the comments, guys, list who's messier, you or your significant other. Well, it's always a significant <laughs> other. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I'm the messier one of the two. Okay. But to be fair, I also deal with messier things. <laughs> like glitter. People don't know that, you know, when Don leaves the room, he usually forgets to, you know, clean up. Wash his yeah, forgets. <laughs> you know. So I'm always back here cleaning up. The, he forgot. Yeah. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. There we go. What do you think, Michelle? You think that's good? Mm hmm Okay. All right. All righty, that's the sand, and we're just going to kind of drizzle this in here and mix it up so we can not have it overflow <laughs> flowing like my last one. Steve will still like them, though. Oh, 
don't know if I mentioned, but he, he was in the Vietnam War and um, he's from Ohio. He lives um, in LaBelle, Florida, which is, he's about... It's like the center of the state, right? Um, he's South actually center. over by me. Oh, is he? So yeah, still Southwest Florida. Um, he's in Hendry County, which I'm in Lee County, which Fort Myers area is Lee County. So he's from Ohio, but um, he, my mother-in-law was taking care of her, her mom, Grandma Opal here. And um, my mother-in-law's life started changing a little bit. So Steve gave up and gave up his family, his home. And he was right at retirement age came down and uh, took care of Grandma Opal. And for those that didn't know Opal, she was a character. She has a full-time job, you guys. <laughs> but he did it, um, so, I mean, just like not a problem. I mean, and he's very, very close to his girls and granddaughters and grandson. And he's just a really good guy. So I'm hoping that he is going to enjoy his beach coasters and his other surprise, which is the other video and um let let him know that others are thinking of him for a change and doing something special for him so i don't think i want to add any more in there because i'm afraid it's going to do the same thing as it i might go ahead and add well, a little I bit more sand it together yeah i'll keep that there so there's no dry sand underneath yeah all righty we're going to mix all this in here and smooth it out better blend it yeah i can tell down below it wasn't there we go probably do need to add a little bit more sand because i don't want the same thing to happen to me that happened last time yeah for sure and i think it will if i don't add some more all right. We could prop them up now, too. Mm-hmm. So it's probably a good happen. idea. I'm going to use this one. And we're going to put that one here. Because that clear part that I think you're worried about, yeah. it's just going to blend with your mica powders. So it's it the is. propping up that we're Do you want me to sprinkle to just a little bit more sand in here? You get to do whatever you want. You and don't then... need my permission. <laughs> well, I value your opinion. <laughs> You've been doing the resin stuff uh, longer than me. I'm just kind of a newbie at this. You're pretty good, though. She sells <laughs> a lot, from what I hear. She sells a lot of turtles, and what else do you sell? Um, pendants, turtles, um, little different oh, um, serving trays. And I can already hear the questions. How do you sell your stuff? Okay, good. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, I joined a, a little art gallery in my little town nearby. And then also, um, because I, I have friends, you know, in two states, and um, where I grew up where I live, so people knew me pretty well back there in Kentucky. I get even out-of-state orders. And so I do it on Facebook. Honestly, that's how, kind of how it started. I was just having fun doing art. And I started putting my stuff on Facebook just to show my fam family and friends. And then my little community nominated me at the local art gallery. And then they reached out to me. And then one of my cousins said, hey, Renee, um, if that's for sale, I want to buy it. And then the others were like, oh, wait, you sell this stuff? And I'm like, <laughs> well, I can. <laughs> of course I sell I was it. just kind of hanging out doing it for fun. But yeah, we can do a little something. We can hook you up. So that's kind of how it started. So, so you're not on any kind of like marketplace or um not yet because i'm going to be <laughs> honest um michelle knows the story about we are getting ready to build a two-story building next to my home and so right now all my artwork is being done in my dining room and um so i have a limited space for those of you that also do that out there and um i don't want to make too big of a mess in my house at the time and so uh, having the right space to do that kind of inventory um, I think is would be better. So we're building that. The top floor is going to be a, an apartment. And then the bottom part is going to be my art studio. And we're going to do so little lucky. classes. I'm so jealous. <laughs> and Michelle's going to come hang out with me when I do that. That would be so fun. <laughs> Can't wait. Get that thing built. What are you waiting for? <laughs> oh, Lord. Lee County is what I'm waiting on. <laughs> permits, permits, permits. 
but we want to do it the right way so nobody can come and question us later and yeah i think this beach this little beach scene is going to be better i think but that's how we learn right guys that's exactly how we learn it's okay it's okay to make mistakes that's how we learn so it's kind of a good thing we did two at a time i think so too all right so i'm going to move these over here so you can okay so the next thing we're going to do eats. michelle and i picked out the three colors and um as she mentioned a second ago this come in a kit again it's going to be listed um on the link it's um gr gr dz plus metallic alcohol inks it comes in a 16 pack and the color that we're using is called metallic blue yes you want to shake these um yeah there's for like a, a good second at the bottom of them yeah I and you want also it's got all the little this one's metallic so you want to get all your little shimmeries so i'm going to do that one since this one's at the top i put like four drops in there guys i mean we can add more if we need to and this one's by less let's resin it's alcohol ink aqua color i'm just going to go ahead and do all my drops more transparent so i did eight in that one um, this one is <laughs> cerulean, cerulean <laughs> blue. It's uh, honestly one of my favorites by uh, Let's Resin. It's a pretty color. Um, this one's more of the green, like I did how the, you know, the green of the other one. I did eight on that one. I think I might have to add a little bit more in that middle blue. But man, isn't that a pretty color? Oh, yeah. They're all pretty. They are. It doesn't matter what blue for me. It doesn't matter I at know. all. No, it's just they're all pretty. Okay, so here is the first one. This is going to be the top of our ocean. Oh, wow. I can't wait to use those. See, so look at that. I mean, well, I'm going to get it mixed up, Michelle, so you can see it. Because when I sent it to her, like she said earlier, it was on a video. Okay. A little, I did it with my camera and text it to her. But um, it doesn't, none of these, just like her glitters on eBay, you guys, until you actually see them in person, it just doesn't do it justice. I'm pretty sure you own every glitter that I have. <laughs> well, I kind of have. We're going to talk about that in a minute. Uh, Except the clover, since that just came out. <laughs> yeah. So I do have most of them. Okay. So we're going to, I'm going to wipe this off and do it again just so we can, I might have to add a couple more though. Yeah, I want to add a little bit more to this one. Are you trying to keep this one oh, transparent, you know what I, or um, are you trying to get them all? I okay? did, in the tray that I did, now that I remember, I did actually add um, a darker blue with this one to make it more opaque. So if we, I would like the top a little bit more opaque than the bottom. So let's see here. No, that's good. Look at that. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. It is so pretty, you guys. Is just uh, that's almost like this dark blue, almost the, like the powder. mica powder, right? Oh, okay. So we're gonna do that Actually, one. Get these off the heat mat because. Oh, thank you. <laughs> they're uh, I put them on there. Golly, you got the thinking. new the new girl. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, I did that. <laughs> <laughs> I think I did it. It's nice and yeah. It's okay, nice so warm. this this is beautiful too, but I am gonna have to add a little bit more because I think when I pour it in the poster, it's gonna look clear. And that one is the one we called Aqua. So I had, I think I did eight, but I'm gonna have to add just a bunch. <laughs> just that's what you do though. You just mix it until yeah. you like it. I don't many count much when I do mine. There's some people that like that. I mean, some ways I try to teach that. I, I was a trainer and coach years ago, um, which I think does help. I, I did my first little art lesson though via um, fa uh, video chat the other day with one of my daughter's childhood friends. Um, she's starting to do resin art. It's so popular. And I does. wanted to help her get started. So she's got a little kit from Amazon and some little basic tools and she's, she's starting also. Okay, and then this one is the Ceruleum. Yeah. Ceruleum. Ceruleum. <laughs> and I'm trying to scrape it off the side because that's where the color likes to sit on these alcohol inks. Okay. Get the bottom good. I always scrape the sides. You'll see me do my sticks. 
sides several times. She learned the hard way. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> I ruined a hundred dollar turtle. <laughs> That's lots of resin. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Let's see here. All right. So I think we're just going to work our way up. We're going to start with the green first, I think, since we've already got the sand in there. And Ooh, isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. We got the green. I do like um, the alcohol ink look because it's like a, a glass. Yeah, I like look. it too. Well, it's more natural. Yeah. I mean, the mica powders are beautiful too, but um, I do get a kick out of these. The transparency of the, of the inks. Trying to get on a little resin in there. Stuff it and cheap, so you don't want to waste it. I haven't met anybody that just tosses it, have you? No. No. <laughs> no. And, you know, I've only had the flash screw happen to me one time, and that's when I first started doing resin. Yep. I was out on my lanai, and, oh, my goodness, it scared me, too. I'm glad I was outside because... Did it smoke? Yeah. Really? So I was glad I was outside. I had it flash cure one time, but it didn't smoke. It just like cured and it was done. And I was like, oh, well. I was like, oh my <laughs> so goodness. So much for that. But I don't know if it's me or what, but I think the, um, the resins have come a long way because I remember that one even smelled to me like... Is, this yeah, a was, lot of ask what the odors are, and either I don't have a sensitivity to the odors, or they don't have an odor, so I'm not Well, sure. the ones now, I don't smell. Now, there's my family and others have come in my house, even with UV, and they'll say, so it looks like the two are almost the same color, but that's okay. You can't really tell here, you but... You always drip more of the green. Yeah, one. I can drip it in there, um, but that's okay, too. And I think I'm going to take these sticks out now mm -hmm. and just see what happens. We can always put them back if we see it slip sliding away. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> if Don was here, he would have been going, you know. All right. So we're going to add our blue. Dark blue. They're all blues, but. We'll mix all this in. We're just getting it in here That's for right now. It's kind of high, though. That's what I'm it saying. It is, yeah. I don't want to put any more in. Okay. Just you won't have blend it. For their wave or your. Yep, you're right. Okay. We can dip some out, too, if we need to. If you think we should. I don't know how, like, UV, I don't know how thick you need that to do the wave. Well, so. I'm going to need a top. Well, the top coat I can do even afterwards, like outside of. Is there something chunky in here? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I was like, what is that? I keep hitting some. We were, like, flicking off dried pieces, and um, <laughs> we didn't throw them away. So now they're getting in our work. I kept hitting a little something in there, and I was like, well, did, is this already curing up on me? <gasps> okay. Let me get this down here. Okay. Oh, not over there. Back up, Renee. Back up. If I need to dip some out, then I, I can. I love these little silicone tools. They're so mm -hmm. handy. You use them for everything. And they're green because you can reuse them over and over again. And I'm not going to add any more color to it because by the time we get the waves in here... Yeah, and everything don't we don't we don't need it okay i'll just bring more down to the the blue just play with it there's no right or wrong way nope. i mean to mix it and by the time it blends it's going to look different anyway yep so just have fun with it say that oh, oh that's oh, already that's it's so we, already we can take those steps. out yeah let's take that out okay and this little glitter is floating up on me here 
All right, now I'm going to add my little shells and my um, tweezers. Also a must-have when you're doing resin because <laughs> everything sticks to everything. I see you got it on here. Sure I'm messy. Is. I told her I was. I warned her. <laughs> I don't see how because like all the stuff she brought is like so organized. It's beyond uh, belief. I didn't say I wasn't organized. I was messy. Just messy. <laughs> all righty. So, oh, he missing a little limb there. That's the kind you want to use like with a shell where you're hiding it. Yeah. Just make sure the lines are upside like that? down. Like that? Is that the top? The other way. Lines are upside down. I've been doing it wrong all these years. Yeah. All right. So Those we're going to do that. Those are their feet underneath. I know, right? Renee, you're such a dork. <laughs> okay. Everybody usually does that though. But I've caught many in the sea, so I'm, I know you that You have. Mm-hmm. I, I dove for many, many, 20 years I was a diver. Okay, guys, I just noticed something. You're going to flip. What? I thought it was just me. This is a six-leg starfish. <gasps> oh, wow. Oh, it's an omen. Michelle, it's a special <laughs> day. We got a six-legged starfish. I didn't even notice that. I didn't look at it. You see it, guys, this I'm one here? I'm going to have to take that back from you. No, I'm just you kidding. I'm just kidding. You might be worth some money. <laughs> Seriously, you want it back? No, I don't want it back. <laughs> That's so funny. I think it's super cool. That is cool. I was looking at that when I was getting it out. I'm like, what's up with this starfish? He looks a little different. Well, now he nice. is. Is that not cool? That is cool. Oh. I'll probably never see another one. I know. Okay, everything's sticking to me. <laughs> you want a new pair of gloves? Oh, let me try a different shell. Here we go. That is so cool. I was looking at it like, what? what's different Something's about that? Different. Yeah. Something's different. There we go. Are they pushed down enough? Let's, Get let's, move, him, that lip. let's move him up here. There we go. Yeah. I think I'm going to put this one up since I already had him out. Clumsy and messy, all of the above. All right. The other one. Yeah. Your glitter is like floating too. Yeah, we need to stir him back up, don't I? Come on in, get in there. There we go, let's flip him over. He'll be all coated with glitter. Oh, I got a little extra guy in there too, that's okay. He can stay. My little pencil thing. I was going to get the glitter back out. Where did it go? Where did he go? Oh, here he is. I hit him over here. All right, we're going to get the glitter back down. Try to. Not that it matters too much because it will, the waves well, the will wave hide will cover it. it. Yeah, you're right. But I won't have any on my little beach if it takes it all. Yeah, that's really starting to harden up there. Okay. All right. Do you need to spritz it? There's yes. Some bubbles. One hundred percent. All righty. I, I like cannot that. believe we got a six-legged so starfish. Cool. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and do the waves. Um, Michelle had made a comment that she had not done the waves with um, the UV resin, and because we want it to flow we would want to use the low viscosity because that moves quicker. And you do it exactly the same as you would the regular resin. So I've already pre-mixed my um, ocean white. I'm just going to drizzle it in. So we're going to go ahead and um, I'm going to put, put it kind of like where I want to do my waves. I just gave Michelle this bottle. I'll have to owe her another one. No, you don't. <laughs> I'll be like Indian giver. <laughs> Indian giver. I might have to put some up there too. Oh, see, I I was expecting you to cover the whole thing. You no, do that. I'm just oh. going to do it this way. Okay. And then that way I don't waste my UV resin. Well, that's what I was like. Hmm. And so you can only push it as far as the resin yeah. goes. Okay. Yeah. If I wanted to do, like you said, the whole thing, you could, but I'm only, I just do it. Honestly, the first time I did it was by accident because I did it to save time because I didn't have to time, have time to wait for another layer. I think I'll just go ahead and put the second one up well, here. Oh, yeah, I guess you could blow them at the same time. Yeah, and then that matter. way it doesn't matter. 
Because you still want that edge. Yes. For the white that we want. Yeah. Person, right? Okay. Let's do that. We'll rub it on here. I'm thinking, guys, I like the um, the transparency of this one. I like the richness of that. That one looks rich, but this transparency always reminds me of glass when you use the alcohol inks. Okay, let's see. When I mix it, I'll see what I got here. Do I got enough up here? I think I put this one a little lower than I did the other one, didn't I? Mm -hmm doesn't matter they don't all have to be exactly alike honestly i like them when they're a little different oh well, yeah i think they should be different so we can do whatever we want yeah i'll get you another bottle don't of this. worry about that <laughs> i feel <laughs> bad i feel bad okay so we're gonna um drizzle this on this will be our little wave down here and i'll just do mix it across so do you think you want the stronger gun or the weaker gun? I'm going to try the weaker one first. Okay. And then I um, have to not cover up my little starfish, though, to blow it over. And, but Don't it'll cover be, the one with the six teeth. I know. Can you guys believe that? Check him out. <laughs> so cool. Never seen that before ever. I did try to give it back to her, but she said she didn't want it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Steve, uh, the guy that's getting the coasters, he may have something worth money. Yeah, you might, you might, right. if y'all see it on eBay later, you tell, let me know. <laughs> okay, all righty, let's do that. And let's try the little one. The one thing about waves, Michelle, you tell me if, what your experience is. Okay. Um, if you overdo it, you lose it. But so I'm going to try yeah. this with one. Less if I feel, if if I feel it needs to. Um, um, have a little bit more of the stronger um, one, then we'll switch it to her bigger one. It's just if you get good cells, yeah, you don't want to lose them. And then you go them. back over it, you you're probably going to lose them. And I have done that multiple times because I overdo stuff sometimes. Okay. Guy up. I'm gonna turn that off for a second. Cause I want him out. He's special. This is just. It's okay if I don't have cells. Oh, <laughs> sorry guys. Didn't mean to hit that. Going for a ride. Yeah. See that one. Oh, that one's making cells. some cells. I think it, it'll happen after the fact. I too. think you're right. So I think this blower is okay. What do you think? Do you want think, to try this one? Yeah, let's to see. If you know what? Let's just cells. try it. Yeah. That way we'll know with you guys too, right? Okay. It is. I think I blew over. I wonder here. if it's the heat is more intense from this gun because I seem to get better cells with this gun. I think that might be it. So maybe it's not, to your point, the amount of how it's blowing, well, if, but if the heat. If you take a torch to him, it might create even more. Yeah, let's do that. I'm game. I just wanted to separate this because I didn't want my little shell to be covered up. This one's so hard. coming out you got to press the button down if you can otherwise we'll have to oh like oh this one here. oh okay gotcha it's hard to do though 
Okay. Okay, there you go. Yeah, that's gonna create some cells for ya. Yeah, I think so. I think it's the heat, like you said. Yeah, I know it's heat related, um, but yeah. Oh, look at those. Those are okay, pretty. Good. Yeah, I'm gonna scrape him off just a little bit here. He's up there, so he's good. Yeah, look at those. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I'm okay that it's kind of everywhere. I just think that's how it flows is how it should oh, flow. Oh, yeah, sure. And... I'm be using that trick now. There you go. <laughs> Might save you some time. Heck yeah. Especially if you're doing like, you know, uh, layers and you're trying to go for time. I know in your late night videos. Okay, guys. So let's go ahead and we're going to do the... Um, Light. UV and two minutes honestly should be okay because we're not this isn't um, heavy with opaqueness you know there's it's not real, real super heavy um, of course the heavier of the product that you're using in your UV um, the more you want to cure it and um, I've done two minutes on this and it's been okay we're gonna do two minutes each if that's okay if you want to pause it and then yeah. we'll start yeah Turtle time. Okay, now we're going to do the turtles. This one, you can use whatever. I'm going to use the high viscosity because it's thicker. I've already gone and placed my turtles where I think that I want them. Not that I can't change my mind. And I'm not going to worry if it's um, too much or like because we're going to actually top coat these. So I'm just going to put a little bit just as long as it's on the side. So you don't think those would stay underneath the resin? Some I've had a move on me before. Oh. Um, they're a little heavy, but not real, real heavy. And so I just always, if I, you know, want to place them, I do that. Yeah, because, I mean, the UV resin underneath it isn't going to get any light to it. Right. It's not. And I always just kind of mush it around and do the sides is what holds it. Just as long as it grabs hold of something. And it doesn't have to be whole, all there because like I said, the top coat's gonna finish it for us. Did he see a set of these you made? Is that why he liked them or did he come up with this? Um, he's on my Facebook page. She's talking about my uncle. Um, he's And he wanted a set of coasters, beach coasters I've done. And so I'm gonna wipe this off. Keep it clean. Okay, so then um, if you guys don't have one of these, they come in handy. It's just a little UV flashlight. Um, they just come in handy when it's just something quick like this. Or if you're trying to hold something and you want to position the light a certain way. Mm -hmm. Happens like that too. So we'll be right back with you. All right, guys. So now we're just going to finish it up real quick with some top coat cover it up let me turn the and I'm just gonna let that thin out here I always just pour it in the middle first and I go back and work it up I think you're right Michelle I was a little worried we'd have too much, but I think you were right on. See, she's the pro. <laughs> she's the pro. I don't know. There's a few videos I had several extras. <laughs> <laughs> like, then extras hey. on top of extras. Hey, we ain't complaining about those extras, are we, y'all? <laughs> Do you need more? I can no, make some more. I can make it work. We don't have to make it work. I know. It'll be okay. Oh, I think it'll be plenty. Pencil thing away. Let me go ahead and scrape some of this out. So we don't waste it. That one here. That's the one you like. The one I call the pencil. Mm -hmm. That's my fave. I'll try to do better in the future, you guys, so our video won't be so long. You're gonna get half and half. We want them longer. I got I got wordy. <laughs> <laughs> I got a little wordy. Well that one's domed. Yeah. Don't put any more of that one. Yeah, he'll be done. That okay. one's good. Oh. Just gotta spread it. 
Okay, let's spread it out. Let's get ahead and demold these and see how they turned out. I think Steve's gonna love them. I do too, they're gorgeous. And like I said, he's a special guy and- um, Are you gonna trim them with anything or no? Um, or let him decide? I think he'll decide and whatever he likes and I'll do that. He might like the edge on there actually, now that I think about it. I mean like in gold marker or something. Oh, I see what you're saying. Um, no, he definitely likes the clear ones. When I did, because I have both at home mm -hmm. and he liked the ones that were clear. Oh, okay. I think that's the ones. A guy thing. He saw them on my uh, Facebook page, I think okay. is what he saw. But I can clean these up here. And little turtles. They're nice. They stayed in place. I can always edge these off. Now you guys have to try the UV resin wave trick. <laughs> yeah, it might save you some time on waiting on a layer. For sure. Gosh, I wish I knew that a long time ago. And then, um, so guys, which ones do you like? Do you like the one with the mica powder? This is one with mica powder. And this is with the... Um, Alcohol, Alcohol ink. Thank you. I got brain dead there for a second. <laughs> They're so similar, though. I like both for different reasons. Mm -hmm. I like the transparency of the alcohol inks, and I like the richness of the mica powders. But that's my opinion. Let me turn that off. It's a little warm. Oh, that's right. And um, But I will clean these off off camera. I won't make you wait, bore you with that. We have extras. We have some extras <laughs> that we're also going to demold. This is a little mold I brought over to share because I thought it was, I know she likes sparkly things. Little crystals. And guess what she made? <laughs> Everybody's favorite. I saw it in her um, little you might office have area. It in there, yeah. It's just one of the little. I saw yeah. it and I'm like, oh, he's so cute. She said, well, you want to make one? Yeah. <laughs> you sure do. So is it a moose or a reindeer? That's the question. Yeah, you guys, I think, I called it a deer yesterday. Well, we did this in two days, just to let you know. But um, the more that I looked at it, I think it is a moose. I think a lot of people called it a moose, too. So I think it's a moose. Okay. Squirt that again down there. Where's Dawn when you need I him? I know, right? I'll give birth to a moose. He's a little hard, but he's coming out. It's Here easy. we go. Well, yeah, you got to squish it around, and he didn't pop there out. There we go. Bad, so there we go. That's gonna be a well-used little mold around here. Look at that. We should paint the eyes on too before yeah, you. Yeah, that'll be cute. And then we're gonna um, will you do the UV? There's a hole in the back of his head. It fits right in. Well, isn't that sweet? Yep. I just put E6000 and I stuck them in. There you go. Yeah. So in the final pictures, we'll um, we'll have a little. We'll eyes. have the eyes and a little, little mouth. mouth. Yeah. And he'll set in my office now too. <laughs> hey, thanks guys for letting me hang out with you today. But look, in the I show. just realized the glitter stayed suspended. And we didn't even. And do we the, didn't even use the glue. We didn't do the glue trick. The only difference is we waited probably fifteen minutes before pouring it maybe that was what it was so it, it was, was nice it thick. was a little thick in it the was cup thick but um yeah yeah it didn't even i didn't even think but, i didn't um, either until you just now said that it worked but we'll have him ready for you on the final pictures and thanks for letting me hang out with you guys of and course. michelle and Anytime. everything i'm having renee back a lot we so had guys, fun get used to her. <laughs> we had a lot of fun <laughs> all right y'all you have a blessed day we'll see you tomorrow Bye. bye